Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Blackbird. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Well, this video is about Nick Cannon. Um, I saw a video where he is um, expecting three babies this year, and that will make 11 children um, with one um, who passed away at five months old, so 10 children living. <clears throat> there are rumors that Nick is having all of these children to hopefully save his life. He was diagnosed 10 years ago with lupus nephritis. I know a lot about this disease because I too was diagnosed 36 years ago. So let's dig into this. And at the end, please let me know what you think about it in the comments. He did confirm that he has some kids on the way. Here's what he said. It says you have three babies on the way. Is that true or false? Well, when you say on the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? God damn it, Nick. I know, what, what count you at? I'm like, let's just put it on this On the way. way. They're on not the here way. yet. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're I mean, coming. A, they're so the, the stork is on the way. The stork this, has the package? Yes. There's, there's, there's three. Three. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. It could be, uh, you know. With this <laughs> No, I, I, this is what I said. If you thought the numbers I uh, put up in 2021 was... <laughs> wait, wait, wait till you see what happened in 2021. A little bird that's pretty close to Nick told me the reason he's having so many kids is because he apparently needs a bone marrow transplant. And he's trying to find a match because it's impossible to find a match, okay, um, given his blood type. So he's claiming that he's meeting this woman and he's not going to live long because of his lupus. Well, the doctors told him if he wants to extend his life and have a long, healthy life, he's going to need a bone marrow transplant. And he has been, that's a transplant, I, I, I didn't even say it right. Um, and he's going to need to, uh, you know, he's on the waiting list, okay? And so what better way than to get a match? He's having children to save his life. According to Tasha Kay, she has um, heard from someone close to Nick that he is having all of these babies to save his life, um, that he needs a bone marrow transplant. However, I don't think this is true about the bone marrow. People with um, lupus, if they were to have a bone marrow transplant, it would be from their own stem cells. And... Um, he most likely would need a kidney transplant with lupus nephritis. Most of people who are diagnosed with lupus nephritis end up on dialysis or they end up with kidney transplants. And transplantation is the best form of treatment because dialysis um, hampers your life and it puts you in a lot of um, comorbidities. Um, there are so many things that happen when your kidneys no longer function. How do I know all this? I was diagnosed with lupus almost 40 years ago, 38 years ago. I was a child. I was um, 10 years old when I got sick and diagnosed a year later and um, with lupus nephritis. And it changed my life. It really did. It is a very difficult disease to be diagnosed with. It's very painful. And, um, you know, I know about it. I've had it for almost 40 years. I'm still alive and I'm still thriving, but it has not been easy. So I don't think from what I know about uh, lupus nephritis, a bone marrow transplant from someone else is not the cure. Lupus does not have a cure, but, um, kidney transplantation because usually when you have lupus whatever organ is being damaged once that organ fails lupus goes into remission which is why I think I'm still alive all these years later because my kidneys failed when I was a teenager and I started dialysis I've been on dialysis for 20 years of my life and I'm waiting for a kidney transplant so I know all the ins and outs, and I'm telling you, Tasha K, it's not a bone marrow transplant. I don't think so, unless Nick has some super duper doctors with some off the wall cure that we don't know about. 
You guys, it's been 36 years um, that I was diagnosed. So I had to go back. It's been so long, I forgot how long, but it was 36 years ago that I was diagnosed. It's a, a lupus-like autoimmune disease. Yes. What is, uh, exactly is that and what is the treatment for it? Uh, it's, it's a few treatments that I've kind of been going back and forth since the top of the year. But really what it is, it's a, a rare form of lupus that's just attacking my kidneys. Uh, mm. I think it's uh, the condition is, the technical term is lupus nephritis. And it's, it, they thought it was just kidney disease and then they found, they were trying to figure out why my immune system was attacking my kidneys mm -hmm. and that's kind of the, the root of it all. And I'm, I'm dealing with it. I mean, of course, it's something where I'm, I'm not used to the medicines and all that stuff. I've never been one to like, like to take medicine and pills and stuff, but yeah. I feel like I'm starting to figure out a lot of holistic ways and meditation and stuff to kind of get through it. And it's gonna be easy. I'm not really worried about it. It's a learning problem. Every time I think I'm doing good, then I gotta go back to the fucking hospital and it's Do you like, fear death? almost died this time, blood, the blood clots and shit. Do I don't fe fear it, I welcome it. I got to a space now where it's like, that's just, it's probably gonna have, I'm probably gonna die sooner than most people. And that, and because mm. my, I mean, that's what, that's what the doctor said. But I'm living life. Nick, <clears throat> it's not easy, is it? You learned after your appearance with Robin Roberts that it is definitely not an easy disease. It affects everything in your life. It is so emotionally, physically, and mentally draining. And everything you do is about living a better life and a longer life. Lupus really shows you what life is meant for. It's meant to be lived. It's meant to live with love and you know, with the people that you care about. It's about reaching goals and doing everything that you have ever wanted to do before your time is up. And, you know, I see you having all of these babies. I really don't believe that you're doing this to save your life. But if you are, you know, I can't judge you. Um, I would wonder how those babies would feel about being brought into the world for that sole purpose. And I mean, it would be a very cruel thing in my eyes, even though I'm not judging you. Um, but who knows how they'll feel about it if that is the purpose of bringing them into the world. You seem to be a good father. Um, even though I don't know your personal life, the pictures and videos that I've um, you know, gone through doing this to do this video. It seems like you're very caring. And, um, you know, it's just hard to believe that you really are bringing kids into the world for that sole purpose. So, I mean, but it would make sense that you're mixing up the, the gene pool and they will automatically be a half match for you. And mixing up the gene pool with you know different mothers could end up being a perfect match so I don't know if you are doing that that's brilliant but also cruel in my eyes everyone wants to live a long happy healthy life including me I have been fighting for my life since I was 10 years old and I've been fighting that monster, lupus nephritis. It is not easy, Nick. But let your kids grow up. Let them make the choice to give you a kidney if you need one. And I have so many things that I have done that has kept me alive, Nick. And I'll give my secrets to you and anyone else that I can help. It's not really a secret, but let me know. Anybody wants to hear my lupus story and how I've stayed alive for almost 40 years with the disease, 20 years on dialysis, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video or a few because it'll, it'll be a long one um, about my life and living with lupus. So you guys, I hope you all have a great day. Let's talk about this in the comments. What do you think? Do you think that Tasha Kay and a few of these other people are right about Nick? Or do you think that he's 
I personally think <clears throat> that he's having all these children so that he can leave his a part of him behind when he does pass away he will live on through his children as everyone does you live on through your children so i think that is what it is um but what do you guys think let's talk about it in the comments like share subscribe thank you